to my channel if you're new here. My name is Marina. My family and I do mobile home living. There's six of us in the 16 by 80 trailer, but we make the best of it. We're on our way to make our mobile home a mobile mansion. I feel like I just crammed every bit of what I wanted to say into like one big old run on sentence. So today we're tackling this area of our living room. This wall behind the fireplace. If you're new here, we built this fireplace, like built it from the ground up, son. We built it quite a while ago. If I Also, if I'm wet, I look like a wet rat because I just got out of the shower. You girl bathed today. I even shaved my my legs they kind of have a little bit of peach fuzz on them but it's okay they keep shining warm at night so before we built this fireplace back here on the back behind on this back wall you can see what we had we just had the same wallpaper that's also over here on my entryway that you can't see because my shutters were open the same faux shiplap that's on my entryway is the faux shiplap wallpaper that is back on that back wall it's from Lowe's it's really good. It's a pain in the rear end to put up, but it's really good. Like it, it actually looks like the real deal. It also has texture on it too. It's really neat. But that's never been the look that I wanted for that area. I wanted a specific look. Dogs need a potty. Come on. You need a potty? You need a potty? You need a potty? I'm potty training my dogs, y'all. Don't ask me how I'm doing it. I'll, I'll explain it in a different video. Living room, Marina. The fireplace really blew the budget. So I, ha I had to wait and do this separately. I know kind of what I want to do with it, but I don't know specifics. I don't know what, if I want it stained, if I want it painted. None of that, but we will be removing these shelves and that table there and kind of working with what I have and just rearranging some stuff. Kind of like a living room refresh as well. That'll be in this video. First, I have to tidy it up though. So I'm kind of going to figure out how I want things as I go. I, I know kind of what I want, but not specifics. Usually that's how it goes with my makeovers. I just jump head first in. And then if it's something, if it ends up not looking like I hope it does, I just try to modify it. And it almost always, I'm not going to say it always works out for me because this would be the one time it didn't work out for me. <laughs> but it works out a lot of times. Like It works out really good a lot of times like that. So this is going to kind of be like a living room clean makeover and refresh with me. As of right now though, y'all, I swear that ketchup bottle is a daggone couch potato. Every video I do, I feel like the ketchup bottle's chilling on the furniture. Jeez Louise. All right, let's get it tied up in here before we do anything.
was Shane just. <laughs> what are you doing? That was Shane scaring the girls. <laughs> but uh, I got the living room tied up. It's not like, you know, <sighs> you messed up my hard work. It's not like perfect. It's not deep cleaned, but I got it tied up that way. Y'all, I cannot work in a messy surroundings, atmosphere. Well, I don't know, because I do a lot of work all day long in a messy house. Why is it when I just choose to go do something in particular, it has to be tidy? But I can go throughout my day and ignore the laundry all day long. It doesn't make sense. My mind never makes sense. But I got to tighten up in here so that we can at least have some room to work and stuff. I'm going to start taking all of this stuff down over here because that is what's getting tackled is those back walls. The thing about it is this fireplace is not centered. We couldn't center it because there is a vent down over here in the floor right beside it. So if I had centered it, it would have covered half the vent. And moving the vent was out of our scope of practice. <laughs> we weren't about to try that. We would have been blowing like some, some horizontal heat and air somewhere in the house. It would have been a mess. So we didn't move that. We just made it slightly off-centered. So the left side of the back wall back there is smaller than the right side. But it's okay because honestly the only time you can see it is if you stand directly. Well, about where you guys are actually. <laughs> And you can tell it's kind of off-centered, but my bun's off-centered, my butt crack's uneven. So it goes with the whole aesthetic of my channel, really. <laughs> it is going to make for an interesting DIY, because a lot of the DIY we're doing today, which is a creative shiplap, basically, I don't know the word for it. But it's basically very creative, and you have to be strategic with your measurements. It's going to make that part interesting. My only struggle right now is what color it's going to be i like the way the white brightens up that area because i have a lot of wood tones and texture in my home so i like the way that the brightness the white is bright and it brightens up that area what are you doing you want to come say hi want to come say hi so i don't know whether to keep it white or stain it my first initial thought was i'm going to stain it so when we get the wood up there i was like i'm going to stain it and let it be an accent wall back there but then I was looking at this wallpaper and I was like, I don't know, I really like the white. So I'm going to wait till we get it up there. Regardless the, the color of wood that it is, I'm not keeping. I'm going to attempt to stain it or paint it. I just don't know which way I'm going to go yet. Right now I'm leaning more towards stain. But it might get up there and then I decide to do it white. I don't know yet. The first step is not get ahead of myself and just take all the stuff off the wall here so we can get to working. Yeah, you're just a baby. Her, she's a little wiener dog. dog. Do you see how the white just kind of flows with my wainscoting back here? It makes me really want to paint white. I may end up painting it white. I don't do a lot of white painting in my house anymore because I, I like the more earthy tones. But I may just shock the holy fire out of y'all and go on and paint it white. I don't know. I may shock the holy fire out of myself too. Oh, can you catch it? The reason I'm leaning more towards the white is because, first of all, it brightens it up like crazy. Second of all, it looks really clean. And I have people ask me all the time why I have a mantle and I don't decorate it. It's because my mind is chaotic enough. I ain't got time for all the chaos a mantle, mantle decor brings. Mantle decor can look phenomenal, right? If, like, that's your thing. But nothing stresses me out more than the mantle section on Pinterest. Like I've already been down that road, nope. Traveled down that road too long. That old me is dead and gone, dead and gone. Like Tia said, uh-uh. That one, that clutter bug marina ain't coming back. And the minute I put just one trinket on that mantle, I got a Cracker Barrel aesthetic again. And I don't want that Cracker Barrel aesthetic. I'm so done with it. I want clear and crisp because my mind is chaotic. My surroundings, don't need to be. <laughs> also, when your house gets as dirty as my house gets, you're gonna want minimal stuff because the maximal stuff, the maximal, 
the maximal stuff you have is going to make your house look 10 times worse. And my house is already teeter-tottering on like a hoarder, you know. I'm already te I'm on that line and I'm straddling it. The more stuff I got on shelves, the worse it looks in person. Because it would be awesome if I had people come over and I just had all my Cracker Barrel decor on show. And it looked beautifully decorated. But y'all gotta remember, I have the ketchup bottle chilling on my recliner 95% of the time. The ketchup bottle does not go with the Cracker Barrel aesthetic. If you're an old school friend on here, you know I used to have an A1 bottle, much like my ketchup bottle, that literally made its rounds around my house as decor. And it would just be in random spots. <laughs> and I'd be like, I'm, I'm decorating as a steakhouse now. This ain't farmhouse, this is steakhouse. <laughs> Like I said, I'm changing the color. Hopefully this is sustainable. If not, then I'm making a huge mistake. <laughs> so we accidentally left a gap in this whenever we attached it to the wall. So Shane can slide this in here and kind of get an idea of what kind of angle we want these to be at. Now we can be able to draw that. Yeah. Okay, so we're running into a little bit of issue. Y'all are really crooked. <laughs> we're running into a little bit of an issue because the light switches and the plug-ins, this stuff is pretty thick. Let me show you. This stuff isn't like the other stuff that we used in the bedroom. She's thick. She's thicker than a snicker. You see that? So it's hard to really get a precise cut. We're struggling a little bit, but I have faith in Shane. I know he's going to work it out. We get it. Absolutely. Back. He's he's got it. Slowly but surely, we we'll get it. It's like we're running in circles, going around every day, getting stuck in the heart. That's a fun one. Looking good like I should. Mm, mm. And you talk on neighborhood, mm, mm, feeling blessed. Like a mess. Here. You see what I'm saying? Hey. Going down. Now, it may be a little bit different as you get towards the bottom because there's a little bit more space. But do you get what I'm saying, though? Yep. I get what we, we might be on to something here. We might be on to something. Okay, hi, guys. You may remember me from such um, zingers as DIY 
a fireplace and DIY a game room. I'm here back to you again. <laughs> There you go. Okay, so Shane just brought it to my attention that I might have went a little declutter crazy because I decluttered our bottom trim. <laughs> so we need to get bottom trim for it, but it is looking so stinking cool. I still don't know what color I'm going to make it. Shane says the Jacobian stain. I think white, but I think I think white just because the white that was on the back right there flows so pretty with the hallway and the wainscoting back to there. But the Jacobian, it would really match the mantle. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. One thing I do know, it's not staying that great. Where the sun Look at you! Tammy's singing it too. Man! That's a snazzy wall! Yeah, buddy. That wall was created with blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> what right tears? There, let me tell you what, I cried like a baby the whole time. <laughs> Them angle cuts I don't you. know if it was if it was because it was hard or if it's, I'm just getting older. <laughs> You're just getting done. I just couldn't, I couldn't control it anymore. <laughs> okay, so now comes the real question. There is no real question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stained or what? Because you say stained I say and stained. I say what? This is this is my my logic behind it. Okay. okay. So the house has a theme going. On, okay. Right. You got your bricks that are there, your bricks that are there, and your bricks that are back here. Any other wood pieces that you have in here are Jacobian. Jacobian. Or ja Jacobian. Okay. You got your Jacobian walls. You got your Jacobian, you know, around your door. You got your Jacobian, whatever we call that. Jacobian on your table. Jacobian here. Jacobian there. And I'm just saying that this needs to be Jacobian to go with the rest of the theme. Because you don't really have white pieces in here other than this and your pillars. Okay, so and, and, my okay. so my logic behind the white is you see how it flowed and looked so bright back through there whenever we had the wallpaper up. It played off of the wainscoting that you're standing in front of. It played off that and it made it just like flow. Like it was flowing, it looked bright. I'm afraid I'm gonna darken that area up if I put stain on it. I can paint over stain. I can't stain over paint. So we're gonna stain it, see how we like it. May leave it like that a few days, uh, and then might paint it white if we don't like it. If I paint it white, I know I'm going to like it, but the chance of ever staining it is gone. Because <laughs> this stuff, I have a feeling this stuff isn't going to be easily stained at all, let alone once there's paint on it. There's no way. You'd have to sand it down. It would mess up the whole plank. There's no way. So, we are going to stain it first. Maybe leave it like that a few days, get the feel of it. This side over here is going to be a little tricky because you can see how small it is compared to that one. It looks the same size there, but if you come all the way over here, you'll see it's very small. But if you come all the way over here, you'll see this side gets bigger.
So that's what it looks like stained. Your girl's about to paint it white. <laughs> what do y'all think? Y'all think stained? Or are you with me on the white thing? As of right now, it's about to be white. It's I'm definitely doing the white because um, as you can see there, along with my hallway, it's just a huge contrast. And while I really love contrasting colors, I don't like that kind of contrast. So I feel like the white would work with my shiplap wallpaper over here because the shiplap I do have in the living room is white. The shiplap I have everywhere else is brown. It's actual wood colors. But the shiplap over here in the entryway is white and I really like it that way. Yeah, I do have to move around the shelves that were on that wall. I'm going to move them over to this little half wall beside the bar that we built um, and kind of just revamp that area. We're going to refresh this corner over here. What do you think, Shane, now that it's up there? Uh, I'll admit it looks a lot darker than I thought it was going to turn out. So you think white? Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to be like the mantle. Yeah, well it should have been, but I think where that stuff wasn't supposed to be stained. Yeah. It kind of soaked up the color. So you're on board with white? Yeah, that's fine by me. All right. Y'all remember what I told you about the ketchup? It's like, <laughs> it's like Pat Cemetery. What the heck is going on? My tripod's got his beer goggles on, but again, what is it with ketchup on the furniture? And on the floor. On the sapphire sky, great and small. Oh yeah, you hear that Tina Turner roll in my voice just then? Oh yeah, it's totally there. And I didn't move the soul. I'm a whole band in one person. Bring your walks in. We'll mischievous grin. Bum, da, da. You tell the story of my mind. I'm sorry, baby, that we will live. Eat a fart, Jason. <laughs> Why you got mustard all over you? Cause I was eating a hot dog. Why are you hating on my mustard? <laughs> what? What's that accent? <laughs> Why are you hating on my mustard? I'm going to Wait, it. I didn't tell you where I wanted Actually. it. Why'd you just assume I wanted it there? What? Why'd you assume I want it there? Where are you gonna put the other one? Up above it. Shane, no, they had to be lower. Mm-mm. What are you lower. thinking? It can't go lower. Yes, it's it can. going right there. No, Shane, that you cannot you do can't, that. You can't listen, you have to have space between Yeah, it won't come out now. So you're this is what you what's this belly shirt you got going <laughs> on now? You gonna have to lower that. I can't. You're gonna have Where to. Where is it? It's gonna go right here. And then what am I supposed to put on the top shelf? Mini figures? Yeah, knickknacks. No! <laughs> They're on toast the ceiling! <laughs> the heck Take you your tag on R. That's your R. Take that your R! Me. Take your R! That's your, that's your R. <laughs> it isn't! <laughs> you just had to do that. What? I punched a hole in the wall. You swear. Yeah. Shane! You know what? You wanted it moved. 
These are the re these are the decisions these of the, the these are the repercussions of the decisions, decisions that you made. made. You made when you didn't ask me where I wanted. You that. made this decision. What did you do? You don't want to know. What did you do? You really don't you know. How did you even do that? Oh, I don't know. Somebody just had me to have to move this. You didn't tell me you got that on accident and you can't get that on purpose? It does not flow with that at all. Normally, I love that stain. Y'all know it's the only stain in my house. Like I love that stain. It's not the only stain in the house. What? Well, That's not the my only mustard thing. stain too. I mean, normally any other time I would love that, but. When you're in a 16 by 80 single wide, and even if you're in a small home, y'all, if you're in a small regular home, it don't even have to be like mobile home. If you're just in a small area, there's a lot of people in there, you want to do whatever you can to make the area look brighter. Now, I love my wood tones, so I almost always try to incorporate them into my home somehow, some way. But when it comes to space, I, I need it to look this could look boxy really quick if I went with as much stain as I want to go with. <laughs> it could look boxy and tiny and claustrophobic. That's not what we're going for. We want natural light coming in because natural light motivates me. I don't know about y'all, but it motivates me to get up. If I open a window, I'm ready to go. Go on like farting wind. I don't want my home to start looking boxy. The lighting looks weird also because I have my orange lights on, so I had to change my, my lighting a little bit. But I'll, I'll change it back whenever I go to get afters. But I don't want to look boxed in. If this wasn't on this wall, I would love it. I actually may end up doing one of these walls in Colin and Cammie's room. And they are wanting a dark wall. So like as an accent wall, that's really good. But with just this little area and with it that close to that brick, already too much is kind of going on. And they're kind of fighting for attention. You know what I'm saying? So we want the focus to be on this. This is one of our most favorite pieces in our house that we've done. So we want the focus to be on that. So we're just gonna have this to accent it and not not be so drastic so that it's fighting for the focus. You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna accent, accentuate, accentuate, accentuate. I accentuated my waist. Why am I getting, what is that? I accentuated my fireplace. <laughs> Let's get to painting it while. Out of fires, would you be? Cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. We keep on talking and talking, talking and talking. Because we didn't gap this, because gapping an already angled shiplap piece would have been a nightmare. Because we didn't gap it, we had to get creative 
to kind of create the illusion of there being gaps. So we went through, stenciled it with pencils, like the gaps with pencils, and then went in with a marker and kind of drew along the stencil line and it gave it the look that it was gapped, like it was supposed to be originally, but it wasn't. <laughs> We still need to get the trim because, like I said, I accidentally decluttered my trim and my caulk. So, I need to get some trim and caulk for both sides. But other than that, it's done. I'm really glad that we decided to move this area over to this wall because this wall was lacking something. And I absolutely love the way that it came out. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a blessed morning, evening, night. Whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you. But Jesus loves you more. Have a good night. I'll see y'all later.